Uh, during this video, we're going to discuss the properties of an additive operator. And also, we're going to demonstrate that an additive operator that is at the same time sequentially continuous is linear. This is, it is homogeneous. And since it is also additive, it is linear. Okay, uh, here we're going to, using this notation, uh, the output is just the transformation of the input, which can be written also as f of u. But this notation is more comfortable. Here uh, we know, we already know that T is additive E for two inputs in the, the set of admissible inputs. We have that the transformation of the sum is equal to the sum of the transformation. Then the question is what is needed for T to be homogeneous? We're going to demonstrate that uh, a requirement for an additive operator uh, to be homogeneous is sequential continuity. Then first, uh, we demonstrate uh, for the case of alpha in the seat of natural numbers. Uh, we're going to use the, the principle of mathematical induction, assuming that for some on, yeah, for some natural on number, we have that this relation holds. Yeah, for any u, yeah, u is an arbitrary input. Here uh, we observe that this is fulfilled for n equal to one. Yeah, this is the starting, the minimum natural number. Yeah, in this in this case, and this is fulfilled for for that. Then uh, we take the transformation of n plus one times u, and this is the same time the transformation of n u times u. Here we can define this as u1 and this as u2, yeah, obtaining the transformation of u1 plus u2. And also using, yeah, using the additivity, we have, we have this. And here, substituting u1, yeah, we have simply this. Uh, substituting u2, we have simply this. Uh, then uh, using the, the assumption for mathematical induction, yeah, we have we have this. And we have t times 1. Here we can multiply yeah, by 1 without altering anything. Yeah, without altering anything in the, in the relation. Here uh, we can factorize this, this and, yeah, and this this one, obtaining simply this, and uh, this is the same, uh, the same, the same as the as this as the assumption. Uh, this is this is the same relation as the assumption, but with an equal to an plus one. Then we know that this yeah, implies this, and uh, then the conclusion of the mathematical induction is that yeah, this relation is fulfilled. For all, yeah, for all on in the set of the natural in, in the, the set of the natural numbers. Okay, uh, this is this is the first step. This is uh, this is this is easy, and now we are going to uh, investigate the case when alpha is the inverse of a natural number. Yeah, this is alpha equal to one divided by n. And here we define b equal to one divided by n times u. Here we can, we have that um, the transformation, yeah, the transformation of u is the transformation of n multiplying b. I uh, just multiply b in both sides of this, yeah, of this equation, and we obtain and b equal to u. Here uh, we can use uh, the property we we have already discovered uh, in the next in the preceding uh, slide, and we have this. But here, yeah, we we have that b 
is one divided by on yeah of u then divided both sizes by and we obtain that one divided by and t of u is equal to t of one divided by and u yeah this is this is the the same we can uh, also write, write write this yeah in reversing the the order yeah for having the the notation yeah we have we we have uh, been using yeah during during these these videos like this yeah using the the reflexivity yeah of the of the equality yeah we have we, we are using the, the the symmetry the the symmetry of the equality sorry then we have this yeah and then we have we have that this relation also holds um, the next step, yeah, this this c can be called the, the step, the step two. The next step is yeah, to demonstrate for um, alpha equal to p divided by q, yeah, in which p and q are some natural numbers. Then automatically this made uh, this makes alpha equal or belonging to the sets of positive rational numbers then here we can see it that t p divided by q u uh, is equal we can subtract here p then we have t Here T transforming transforming one divided by Q U and this is equal to P divided by Q T of U. Then this this uh, we have here as a conclusion that T of P divided by Q U is equal to p divided by q times the transformation yeah, of u. Then this is fulfilled. We we are also done. We we are gonna use the, um, the the fact that this operator is sequentially continuous. First, w what do we mean by f uh, sequential continuity? Okay, we we mean by fr uh, se sequential continuity. Uh, that whenever u n tends to u as n tends to infinity, whenever this we have the t of u n tends to t of u. Yeah. Then this is uh, we're gonna use here the uh, step four. And here we're going to define the sequence alpha n that tends to zero. And we're going to define the sequence Bn equal to alpha n u for some u. And this, of course, yeah, tends to zero. Uh, here, uh, alpha belongs yeah, to q. And this sequence, this, this sequence exists. This sequence could be defined like um, alpha n equal to one divided by one divided by n, and this tends tends to zero. And then we can use here uh, the sequential the sequential continuity of the operator t. Then uh, let us write this like t of alpha n u equal to t equal to alpha n alpha n u let, let me move this here yeah this this is hold 
Then uh, we can take, by sequential continuity, we can take limits. Yeah, we can take limits, and the limit is sustained by virtue of the sequential continuity. Then we need sequential continuity. Sequential continuity yeah, implies this. Yeah, we need this. Taking the limit here, we obtain t of 0, because this tends to 0. Yeah, this, all this tends to 0. This is equal to 0 times this, because this tends to 0. Then we note that the transformation of the origin under t is equal to 0. Uh, then uh, we have now that uh, the homogeneity is uh, is fulfilled yeah, for all. Yeah, we have we have homogeneity for all alpha. Yeah, which is a positive or no negative a rational number. Now, yeah, here, here we have this for all yeah, alpha a non-negative rational number. In order to show for negative numbers, it's it's easy from, from this point. Here is the 5. Uh, we have that the transformation of 0 is equal to 0. This is the preceding slide. But 0 can be written as the difference yeah, of an input with respect to itself. Yeah, which is zero. Uh, here, yeah, we we can take u as u one and minus u as u two. Yeah, then um, we can have directly this relation. This is this is equal to to to, to this. Yeah, this is equal to to this. Then uh, this is equal to zero. Then this this uh, is, is summing can can pass the other side, yeah. Resting. Uh, then we have can, can be passed can be passed of so subtracting. Sorry. Then we have here the transformation of the negative of u is equal to the negative of the transformation of u. And then uh, if we have some pq, yeah, like uh, some alpha rational, not necessarily positive or non negative. Yeah, uh, we have that the transformation of alpha u. Yeah, if it, this is positive, this, if this is not negative, yeah, we can apply the the following uh, terms. Uh, the um, the previous results. If not, yeah, we can write this in this in this form, and then minus alpha is uh, is positive because alpha is assumed to be negative. Minus times minus is equal to pass, and it's a positive signum. Then we have this. And this is equal to, to this. Yeah, and this don't, uh, don't, uh, doesn't affect the, the result. Then we have, yeah, we can have this. Yeah. Then, uh, no, we have already uh, demonstrated this for uh, the case of rational numbers. Um, and the final step, the, the result, let us, let us have some alpha, let us consider some, some alpha here, alpha in the set of real number. And here, um, if alpha is a real number, then there exists a sequence alpha and which converts to alpha and such that alpha and belongs to Q for, our, for all n. Then by the sequential continuity, yeah, we, can, we can write this yeah, we can write this limit as, as this, the limit here, as this. And taking limits produces the t of alpha u is equal to alpha t of u. And we have already demonstrated that um, additivity, additivity, and a sequential continuity implies linearity. Okay. 
Thanks for watching.